Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Stellaris. We are going to go to war on this episode. It's going to happen basically as soon as these fleets get into position. Um, I also need to be building up additional ground and surface forces. What are we? What are we building right now? We're building ground forces. We need and we're doing both. System it looks like. Complete. Let's keep building up uh, ground and surface forces. Let's get the Obha in here as well. Alright, cool. So what I wanted to do is merge all of these. I would like... Let's merge these guys. And then you. And you. Oh, let's try this the other way. You and you will merge. Okay. Once uh, these fleets start merging, we will be getting combat going. Anomaly found. Oh, interesting. I didn't even realize that I could colonize this planet at some point. Um. Research complete. Where did we just finish researching? Oh, I forgot we were getting increased border range. I should check that out. A ship upgrade cost. Standards, uh, that's not too bad. Tomb World does not make a ton of sense. Humidity regulators and chemical dispersers uh, allows us to change the temperature of planets when terraforming them. Interesting. Removes dangerous wildlife. Man, these are two that I would... Oh, and this is good too. Quicksand Basin. All right, let's get the ability to remove the Quicksand Basin. There's so many things there that I would have liked to have actually done though. Um, and I'm not even being facetious. I'm actually being 100% truthful here. Have you? Have you all merged up? Um, we have recovered artifacts from... Oh, we can begin the precursors of the Erastian event. We've recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Vulcan 1. From what we have translated so far to their language, we have learned that their aliens called themselves the Erastian Concordat. They were an illustrated part that held sway over this region of the galaxy a little over a million years ago. They appear to be six limbs mammalians. And they are somewhat referenced to a play called the Javorian Pox. Alright, cool. Let's uh, check in on our uh, situation log. So we're looking for Arasian and Cybrex artifacts. Okay. Where the hell are you? Where the hell are you? You all should be you, you, you. Beautiful. Let's merge. Everybody should merge. There we go. Nice big fleet. Um, next thing we want to do uh, is we're going to get this war going. I don't have a ton of... Oh, one thing I do realize I need to do um, since the update... I can, in fact, change some of my policies. Uh, the policy I'm going to be changing is war philosophy, which is we want unrestricted wars. Um, so then what we'll do is come in here and declare war. Um, now, we can't uh, really get... I mean, the best thing to do would be to vassalize these guys for uh, 88. Um... But that means I won't be able to get these two planets, which I would really, really like. Look at our, our, our increased borders. That does that does actually pretty good. Um, I mean, vassalizing these guys would be good because at some point we could we could annex them. But I'd really like to get Talon and and uh, Kraz, which unfortunately means that I am stuck at um. This is already 59 war score, so I wouldn't be able to vassalize these guys. He's going to be like, your war score is too big. Um, just looking at what my other options are. I mean, this would... Actually, these guys aren't that big. They only have three planets. I didn't even realize that. These are the main threat. Um, all right, well, let's also try to get... I think what we'd want to get is Yurov Wasps. Oh, there's two planets in the Yurov Wasps system. I didn't actually see that. Yeah, we won't be able to get both those planets. And we won't be able to get Juice, obviously. 
The reason we want Yurov Was is because it allows me to get access to this stuff, which would be important to allow our, our movement between these two planets. Uh, what do we got here? Who the fuck are the Kappa aliens? Anyway, um... Now, if we vassalize these guys, and they're vassalized to this guy, does that mean they va become our vassals? Maybe that is what we'll do. So let's declare war. We will vassalize, try to vassalize these guys. All right, cool. We're gonna instantly move in on this war. But why? Igarian Confederation. What the fuck are the Igarian Confederations? I actually don't know who the fuck these people are. I did finish surveying this world. So let's have you move to survey the next star system. Yeah, I honestly don't know who this Igarian Confederation is. Now, why did we declare this war, you might be wondering. What was the principal purpose here in declaring war? Um... And the answer was we did it because their biggest ally is already they're already in another war. And they have a crappy space for it here. Hostile fleet engaged. So it's in this system. What are we attacking? Hostile We're attacking fleet a mining station. Hostile fleet engaged. They just built a ship, actually. Oh, these guys are the Igarian Confederation. Complete. Anomaly found. Let's uh, research that, of course. Have you come back? Oh, you're not building uh, ships anymore. Let's get you building a ship. Let's get you building a ship. Let's get you building... That's not the right ship. That's the right ship. Yep, we are losing money. We should be trying to upgrade power plants where possible so that will give us a power plant can upgrade you but I think what I would like to build here is a power plant or perhaps power hub gives me a 10% boost planet wide which actually is not useful at the moment so let's get a power plant hostile fleet engaged Hostile fleet engaged. Engaging hostile fleets everywhere. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. So we, we destroyed that. Yep, you're fucked. Situation log updated. So do you just like attack everything in the star system now? Is that what happens? I mean, look at these ridiculous torpedoes that we're sending out. Alright, so... What we need to, what I want to do now is see what you what you have on the surface here. Construction complete. You have a decent number of defensive wings, actually. Yeah, we just want to be friends. I wish I could. We assumed as a normally small gas giant was in fact a Noth, but neat as a barren planet. Situation log updated. I wish I could. Like, say, come attack this. This, uh, specific enemy fleet. Situation log updated. System survey. Complete. So, what I need to do is get you guys into orbit. Situation log updated. And then, yeah, you guys should Situation be coming here. Do we have any ships, science ships nearby? I don't think we do. I think we're just gonna end up losing most of this potential research direction. Where is this science ship? It's out here. Yeah, well actually, no, you're the, you finished surveying this star system? You have, okay. Survey that, and then you're here surveying, okay. That's the one that actually could probably make it home. Construction complete. Where's my uh, my military ship? 
I want all of you guys to merge into one fleet. So what's our fleet stance on uh, bombardment? Limited. So their fortifications are going down, which is good. Okay, that's not really surprising since they're in a war, unless their war has ended. Um, still would like to get more ships. So let's do that. That was not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Get more of everything. And then uh, you can also probably build something on your surface. So give me some energy credits. You have already built max credit production there and there. Oh wow, you're you're basically full credited out already, aren't you? What do we have here? Power plant level two, and you have a power hub. I should not have built a power hub here. We should replace you with a um just a regular power plant. And you will build a power plant as well. So for, we'll build it here where the the pop is building already. This is all fine. We're doing fine. Where is my transport fleet? How goes your your arm your surface? Your fortifications are gone. Um, what I want to do is embark. How do I? There we go. You guys should also come here. Make sure we have enough ground forces to adequately take this star system. Construction complete. Potential army. Each planet is a defending garrison. Potential army, but will emerge under certain conditions. For instance, garrisons will be formed if planet is invaded. Okay, that's what I thought. System survey complete. Um, system survey is complete. A lot of cool stuff out here on the fringe of society. How's go how does the war go? Where is my war? Oh, here it is. I am I'm winning at 9%. Okay. So, have both fleets arrived? I need both of these fleets to arrive. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, this is... These are just... Random... Crystalline entities. Okay. I thought we had a uh, problem. But we don't. Come on. Let us... Uh, do we have any leader spots? We do not. We do have a general available, actually. All right, um, so let's land our armies, and you should also land your armies. All right, so we have landed significant numbers of armies. The, our damage dealt by it will be, damage dealt to two defending armies will be increased by 100%. Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, we invaded that planet. Move on to Kraz. You gain some ability. You have finished serving. Can we come in here and do all these time projects? Sure. Come on in and do that. Should get whatever we can out of this. What the fuck was that? Why is this red? Now it's green. That's just a bug. Okay. Bugs. Learning about bugs. Anomaly found. Yep, research the anomaly. How goes your war? Is it possible to um construction complete? Okay, they're just moving through my territory. Did we simultaneously just finish all our research? 
That is crazy. One sec. What else did we finish? Quicksand basin removal and advanced spaceport. Um, solar panel network allows me to generate energy credits. I can also just get regular shields, which are really good. Uh, basic combat. God, there's so many things. But I think I need to get the solar panel network just because I'm actually losing money now. Uh, visitor center. That's, I mean, that's one I think that would be good in the long term. But I think this is what we need here. And then you, this will allow me to get cruisers, which I, I also think is the primary, would be a, a very good thing to get soon here. We should also look at our designs. Um, you guys should merge into a fleet. Um, so let's look at our striker mark two. So we now have disruptors, which I'm guessing are worse, right? Yeah, that's significantly worse. Um... So did we get anything else besides the disruptors? Weird. Okay, I thought we got something else, but we must have just gotten the disruptors. Out of curiosity, are they better than the tier 3 lasers? So we're at 7.53, and the answer is no, they're not. What if we replace you with an x-ray laser? Oh, we should do that. What if I replace you with a torpedo? Uh, let's actually do this. Let's save this. Yes, okay. Uh, you all should merge and then upgrade. Where the fuck are you going? Why are you going to just? No, you should be going to crass. God damn it. Did I actually click on just? I, I swear I clicked on crass. Get, get back to crass, you dickbags. And we lost our trade deal with these guys, but that's okay. Uh, most of the asteroids have been laser chiseled with great precision into the likeness of small, a small Nat Fancan temple or a large shrine, a shrine to the untold, the great destroyer deity of old Nat uh faiths. The terrify the temple has been tumbling through the quiet of space for far f longer than we have been capable of spaceflight, which is disturbing at best, terrifying at worst. Uh, naturally, science officer somebody urges us to search for more stellar objects. Perhaps it would be best if we did not. Situation log no, updated. we're gonna let the uh, that chain begin. Okay, once you guys all merge, that will be good. Okay, good. So you've arrived where I would like you to be, which is over here. Oh, and you're gonna launch all your torpedoes and do glorious things. You, my friends, are going to need to go into orbit in a, in a minute or two. It's in this system, so that's good. So... We're still gaining some uh, capability here. It's a slow but steady process that we're doing. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. So you're all fine. You guys can be upgraded. Let's upgrade you. You can be upgraded. So let's upgrade you and trade you. That will put us in the positive. Hostile fleet engaged. That's here still, so that's good. Let's get you guys all into orbit. Bark all there. Then what we're gonna want to do is send one, two, so one, two, three, four, five units into orbit there as well. We're gonna have them both come here. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Um. Well, actually, let's have you hold. Is there a hold button? Stop. And let's have you hold. Stop. And I should make sure that you get leading the correct forces okay hostile fleet engaged how goes the engagement you've engaged a research station which I think is just hilariously stupid but okay situation log updated situation log updated 
Oh, look. Um, these guys showed up with 100 ships. Situation log 100 updated. firepower worth of ships, I should say, which I think was probably foolish. What is this? A science ship? Yeah. Now you should upgrade. Ships upgraded. Good. Construction complete. Then you can come here. Losing money again, because we're always fucking losing money. Situation log updated. Research complete. Oh, what did we just get? Okay, good. That's good. Zero point reaction is good. Plasma thrower. Is that an upgraded weapon or is that a base weapon? 2.07 strikes me as right there in our same sort of uh, ability. I actually don't think any of these are fantastic. This is too expensive. So let's just get the goddamn plasma thrower. I'm not, I'm not super uh, thrilled about what just happened, but it's a thing. It works. So you come here. So you're doing all these projects, okay. Um, you two, come here. Now goes the, uh, the bombardment. All right, so they have much heavier fortification on this planet, but that's okay. God, the ship's warping in and everything is so cool. We're gonna we're gonna end this episode once we uh, once we initiate the bombardment. I mean, once we in initiate the assault, the planetary assault. Uh, I am going to have a few more troops get built. I'm assuming Gorf give us no special advantage, and the answer is nope. What about you? Nothing special, okay. System survey complete. Debris analyzed. Debris analyzed. Okay, we got some physics research points. And you have finished surveying the Rhaegar system. And unfortunately, that's basically all we can go into, right? Who's this? Or is it these guys? And I'm just like unaware of that's them. If I go through their territory, do I just get there? Does that work? I'm not sure that actually works. Wouldn't mind if that works, but I'm not sure it does. Where's those other ships? Oh, you're both here. Okay, good. How goes the ground forces? We need to end this in a minute. Okay, so let's uh, let's begin the assault. As soon as these troops are here, we'll begin the assault and then launch the, uh, and then end this episode. Already at 19%. Okay, cool. Oh, that's cool. I never even noticed the little, like, landing pods. Yeah, I never even noticed these landing pods. The fact that they don't do any damage because of the bombardment is huge. I mean, we've, we've crushed these guys already. What do we get now? All right, so we've taken over Any the uh, this other planet. All right, cool. So let's end the episode here. So I, th I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I thank you guys very much for watching. Um, and I will see you all next time.